Morning, Lance. Rodo, how are you? Good, good. Good. I'm gonna grab some coffee. Okay. <laughs> I need some. <laughs> <laughs> How was the weekend? Yeah, it was good. Just uh, lots of relaxing. I was I was exhausted <laughs> after uh, last week, so <laughs> Com yeah, just complete uh, relaxation. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? I was. Yeah, same. But I I had to my my. Uh, my my kids had to go to the house of a friend in the in the beach, so we we travel to that. It's like three hours. Oh, nice! So they are, spend the day and go back. Just a lot of driving back. Oh <laughs> yeah, it was on the on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Alex, how are you? Hi guys. I'm on my way to drop my wife off to her new residency. So. Oh, oh nice. Great. Hello, how's your guys' weekend? It's good. Sounds like uh, Roto drove to the beach with uh, for his kids uh, for the day. So busy for him. And then uh, for me, I was exhausted after last week. Uh, just, uh, yeah, all the making videos and stuff like that. So I, oh, I did nothing all weekend. Uh, I was a little bit kind of sick on Saturday. Uh, so I, so I, slept, I slept a lot. But then, uh, yeah, I'm feeling better now. And it's good. Yeah, you know, How's the winter? Summer. I, I miss summer. It's like the <laughs> yeah. beach. It's, right. it's zero Celsius outside right here. Oh. Yeah, zero? What, what yeah. about you, Lance? Uh, yeah, above. just just above that. Yeah, maybe Oof. one, two. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Raining. Oh, also. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. It might just be us. So we can uh, choose if we want to uh, spend much time. Um, well, uh, just to be official, uh, welcome to the Aries Decom V2 Working Group, uh, January tw uh, 23rd, 2023. Um, re remind uh, you about the antitrust policy. Um, for Aries, uh, for Hyperledger and the Hyperledger Code of Conduct. Uh, feel free to add yourself to the attendees list. And uh, let me put the link in the chat just for yeah. posterity and for you guys. Yeah. Hello, Bruce. Oh, hey, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Or evening, or wherever, whatever time it is, wherever you are. <laughs> morning for me, yeah. Yeah, That's morning. morning. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'll post the uh, link again, just in case I I posted it before Bruce arrived. Okay. So uh, yes, feel free to add yourself to the attendees list, and uh, we can get started. Uh, let's just do uh, any updates uh, before I go through the uh, the different groups um, for for our discussion topics today. Uh, I'm starting to do uh, Aries Agent Test Harness stuff. So uh, there's you know an, an easy command you can do to list certain tests. So uh, I've just posted that here that the if you list uh, all the tests for Didcom V2 currently uh, in the test harness, um, you get these three essentially for uh, wacky issuance. Uh, establishing a connection uh, via the uh, OOB V2, uh, out-of-band V2, uh, and uh, a present proof V3 test. So that's kind of the stuff that uh, I'm focused on right now. Uh, anybody else want to give any updates related to DIDCOM V2, AIP3, any of that stuff that we might add to the uh, discussion topics? Yeah, I don't think I have anything to report. Okay. Good. Uh, okay. So then we can go ahead and um, just do a quick review of kind of the past week. 
Um, Aries Agent Test Harness, they actually did have their um, monthly meeting. Um, and I did jump into it for maybe the first 25 minutes and then I had to head to a meeting, but they were just showing some updates more related to uh, M Labs. So I think M Labs does a lot of the uh, maintenance for, uh, or a lot of the contributions for the Aries Agent Test Harness. Uh, and they kind of have a whole suite of um, uh, like web-based uh, dashboard stuff for, for doing Aries Agent Test Harness. And, and you can sign up for an account and uh, it, they essentially it's a bunch of, um, uh, you know, basically software as a service uh, that you can like sign up for an account and uh, you, it would allow you to like spin up uh, an Aries Agent Test Harness and things like that, uh, which is especially useful for like mobile development uh, type things. Um, all that to say, uh, you, you know, there's a bunch of new features uh, that they added to that. I wasn't as focused on that stuff. Uh, mostly I'm running the Aries Agent Test Harness stuff locally. Um, but if anybody's interested in kind of having professional um, support for Aries Agent Test Harness, then M Labs is, uh, they're the group. So they're, they're a nonprofit in Canada. So that was good. Uh, I didn't have time to talk to them about the AIP 3.0 uh, stuff. Um, you know, if they're more focused on, or I, I would say the meeting was more focused on just like, you know, the surrounding uh, ecosystem for Aries Agent Test Harness, but I'm sure they would have been somewhat interested in learning about uh, the rise of AIP 3. Uh, but yeah, I was, wasn't there for enough time and didn't want to jump in on their conversation. So at some point, I'll let them know that we're uh, we're focusing on AIP 3.0 stuff. Oh, hey, Lance. I opened yeah. some issue on the Verama repository. Okay. To add VidPeer and WackyPack support to their VidCom protocols. Uh, oh. Just as an FYI. WackyPack to their agent as well as VidPeer. Okay. Yeah. Because, yeah, right now they only have support for VidKey. And, uh, yeah, like right now pretty much they use VidWeb for did they come be too purple so okay gotcha very good and so you're basically trying to help them walk towards kind of an aip 3.0 as well yeah the idea is to like have them like uh aries compatible so you can have the bramo agent talk to like an aries agent yeah from like a standards perspective like at least okay yeah, because yeah, like looks... I joined their uh, the community group call last uh -huh. week on Thursday, and they kind of like just brought those uh, as well as like the on creds spec is becoming a ledger agnostic. I raised that to them as well, and they were they were excited about it. Yeah, very good. Okay, so hmm, let's see how shall we do this. I guess we can put that under frameworks. I mean, it's not an Aries if. Uh, framework uh, per se, but uh, yeah, why not, right? Uh, wacky. Wacky uh, support. And did peer. Cool. Okay. Good stuff. Um, all right. And then, uh, I don't, do we, uh, I guess, do we have any thing to talk about for Aries Ascar secure storage? Um, I think maybe part of the reason we mentioned that is because, uh, Ariel, uh, is adding support for that, um, to AFJ. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, there's some, and we, we had discussed last week, I believe, uh, some of the kind of cryptographic um, issues with that. I can't remember if I have this listed somewhere on here, but anyways, um, yeah, good good to be aware of. Okay, and then in terms of frameworks, uh, let's see. We, we know Hakan and know Judith. Uh, any any updates on uh, Akapai? 
Ah, right. Here we go. This is where we talked about ASCAR portion uh, encryption envelope not fully developed yet. Yeah, basically they said they're they're gonna stick with SIGPA. Yeah, no near term support for ASCAR. And they're they you know they they see it as very important to extend uh, Aries agent test harness. So hopefully. Uh, work that I'm doing with that and if anybody else uh, does any work for that yeah they'll 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 leverage that for sure okay so is Aries so yeah, is the net partner for now for the con one pretty much is that uh, oh well the uh, test yeah the so testing? yeah the AIP one and two uh that that's the kind of two big supports uh within the test harness. And so, yeah, that's did come V1 related um, with updates to the envelope uh, as well, but yeah, not did come V2 focused. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's that's why the need for AIP 3.0 is, uh, is rapidly growing here. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and uh, let's see, Aries Framework JavaScript. I did attend uh, that meeting. I did uh, tell them that we've been spreading the word about the um, uh, the, the the need for help for the pull requests uh, that are that are currently ongoing. Um, no one is necessarily, you know, jumping to to take that on yet. So. We'll just have to see how that goes. All right, Picos, Bruce, any uh, any not, updates? Uh, not much new. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, we met with the students, and they're they're pleased that they have uh, working for pack and unpack Good. of mess of messages, and they're hoping to uh, uh, to begin sending messages. Good. Soon. So uh, again, I'll probably I'll meet with them either tomorrow or a week from tomorrow. Good. Okay. Great. So, so is, is Python the, the language that they use on the on the Picos or uh, Java? P, P, uh, Picos the P, Picos run are supported uh, at runtime by a Pico engine, which is a Node.js uh, process. And it it interprets well. It compiles to JavaScript a language called KRL, which is an event uh, an event based language. So it's okay. its own language. Okay. They so did, they the... did in, incorporate the the SIGPA Rust libraries. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's what I mean. So they use the Rust to compile like you know Wasm or something that that is in JavaScript. Something like that. I'm not sure of the details. I'll find out in our next meeting. Cool. There's one just for reference. I think Brian from Everytech is working on a, I think a TypeScript library. From, oh, interesting. Yeah. Do, do you know, uh, Alex, how, how far is Brian doing that? Is still, it's working, right? He, he showed uh, us. So I haven't tested this. Like as far as I know, like he is running like his also like crypto libraries as well. So it's like tightly coupled to his crypto libraries as far as I guess I saw the code. Uh, but I can like add a link in the in the in the chat for for the repo. Uh, like yeah, I haven't like yeah. tested it, and the problem with that is like it's packaged for like a Svelte app. But, like it's not really like packaged properly with npm. So we just have to talk to Brian about making it like an actual like Bitcoin library per se. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that would be very useful. Is there a um? Is that repo uh, available somewhere? I, yeah, I I I'm gonna show okay. you on the the link. Yeah, let me find it. It's this. Um, did come so. Something to the chat there. Great. All right, very good.
And I think he also did uh, did beer. Yeah, it's there also. That's the deep here. Oh, Alex already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, if you look at the code, like you will see it's product as belt app, it's package as it's belt application. It's not really like package as a package. Oh. Both of them. Yeah. Seems like so the you said it's TypeScript, right? Yeah, TypeScript. Seems like he and uh Baron should be collaborating, right? Isn't Baron also doing a TypeScript uh implementation of Didcom as well? I think he mentioned he's gonna start something. I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh good. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, if um, okay, so essentially, if the tests that uh, currently exist in the Aries agent test harness uh, include wacky issuance, uh, so uh, you know, I'll be looking through that, um, but uh, that's one of our base uh, things from the silver. If we look at uh, the Aries interop profile, obviously, uh, wacky um, issuance and pre oh, sorry. Present proof. Um, so it looks like those two uh, have support, uh, as well as for out of band 2.0. So that's a pretty good start uh, for tests, I think. Um, I will need to go through and look to see what these actually do. Uh, you know, and become more familiar with how the tests run, and you know, is it is is it complete uh, in terms of uh, all the wacky steps uh, and things like that? Um, I'll have to look in to see if there's tests for revocation notification from from like Didcom one uh, v one, uh, and then yeah. What um, what did methods are being used? Uh, I'll also have to look into that. But uh, I still think uh, it's nice to have some some tests to start from, and especially you know these are more complex tests. Surely, so that's um, I think good. Do do we think that we would want tests covering kind of all of these? things like like a trust ping uh test and and uh yeah discover features i i, I do think that eventually we would want tests for all of these yeah i think so this is just being this can be too compliant <laughs> yeah this because they are part of the spec itself yeah yeah fair enough and that, that's all was those protocol was already on AIP2 as independent, not as RFCs. So okay. I think we, we what we did is group that in the com P2 spec. Okay, interesting. I wonder, let me just check real quick. I'm gonna put in uh I'm just checking to see if maybe there is a Trust ping already implemented. Mm. Well, tough to say, but yeah, I'll I'll look into that as well. Mm, looks like there might be. Okay, and so possibly those aren't. Yeah, I'll I'll look through because possibly some of these are not listed as Didcom v two. Um. So yeah, I guess I'm. Uh, I'm a little confused. Do you think that trust ping, for instance, two point oh, uh, existed before it was not not, not the two point oh, the one not the, ah okay yeah, IP two right. yeah an earlier version of trust ping okay right yeah fair enough all right. So essentially, we would need the 2.0 version of that. Although, for something like TrustPing, I would imagine that's not 
yeah, it's probably fairly simple, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, cool. So, so yeah, I'm excited about that work. Uh, I think uh, one thing is that we had in the Wednesday meeting um, for uh, the Aries Working Group, um, we were on the uh, schedule at the end to to talk about AIP three because from our last meeting, this this last weekly meeting, one thing we want to know is okay, well. You know what do we what do we need to do to move forward? I think we've all agreed at this point um, that uh, we're going to keep uh, it fairly much. Fair, this seems like a nice uh, list of base requirements, and and we like uh, having broken it out into these other parts. And so, what do we need to do to move forward? Since we haven't um, developed an AIP uh, before, uh, you know, we kind of need guidance there. But uh, yeah, we never made it because the talks about OCA and things like that took too long. They apologized uh, and, you know, no need to apologize. But uh, yeah, I think it's worth kind of moving forward, uh, you know, with the testing stuff, especially since I'm going to be doing test harness work anyways. So maybe that will help to establish uh, this. I don't know. <laughs> Momentum is something. Uh, and then we had also talked about kind of having this new tag for for um, maybe a simpler set of uh, didcom uh, related things. For instance, if you didn't care about wacky, and that's that's good too. So uh, yeah, in terms of adding a tag, I think it's literally as simple as me making a contribution to the Aries Agent Test Harness, where I add a test that happens to have that tag, and it'll just get picked up. Um, I think I showed it before. I'm not sure how much everybody cares, so, but um, one, yeah, go ahead. One question I had is, how is this AIP3 going to be different than the DIPCOM B2 interop profile? They're like, they already have the time because they already have walkie tax in there and it's DIPCOM B2 compliant. Because what if somebody brings it up and it's, they're going to say it's maybe they're too similar or like any thoughts on that? Yeah, I think that the specifying I did method uh that that someone should support is uh is an addition um in terms of yeah, is, 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 uh, is 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 revocation notification um yeah well also it did come i'm sorry alex did you say wacky or did you just say did come well, I think I said both. Okay. <laughs> right, yeah. like the walkie did come profile. It's like a did come be profile that does pretty much walkie and defines like two signature suites, I think. Uh, yeah, it doesn't define like any like did methods and that kind of stuff. Like I think it limits it to like two signature suites and uh, yeah, just the walkie did come protocol. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, but this one like is it's on a little more if, than this. Yeah. And this is on different. This is on 80s. That's yeah. one the, the main and this one. 80s includes the revocation and all the other optional stuff like the mediator and all, all that, that kind of stuff. But it's actually that is good because this one the Aries have the the didcom the wacky yeah. didcom included, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think it's actually a strength, Alex, uh, that it is uh, at the base requirement. It it is very close to essentially just wacky did come. Um, yeah, it's, I see it in as extension almost. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just uh, I think a little more uh, real world practical, specific. right? Yeah, yeah it's more I mean, specific. It, like, yeah. yeah, wacky did come is like way too broad to actually be applicable. Yeah, so yeah, it's like defines more constraints on like an actual implementation. I agree. Yeah, and it's also always confusing this because some work is on hyperledger, some of thief, and <laughs> where where we put all the stuff, and it's happening with did it come too, right? The protocols, for example. Anyway, we, we are all the same people, so <laughs> we can keep it in sync. At least yeah, it's now. just politics. <laughs> Yeah, and, and and we already see with uh, some of our other customers that that want to engage with the uh, Aries uh, ecosystem over Didcom V two that um, 
specifying this specifically, this set specifically will be very helpful uh, for, yeah, uh, I guess wider interop. So I, I, yeah, I, I think, think it's it, actual interop. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, real, yeah, real world interop. Real <laughs> right. world interop and just like specification around here and there. Yeah. 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 And there, there may be, I'm sure there will be additional notes uh, you know, that original spreadsheet that I started to fill in, the idea there is, you know, are there, what are the gotchas, right? The, the, that, that maybe even this list doesn't necessarily, uh, you know, fix for you. Uh, you know, again, like interpretation of certain parts of the protocol and, you know, we see discussion still uh, on, on um, like the diff did come, uh, you know, discussion boards about, uh, okay, the spec says this, you know, what does that really mean? You know, what, what do I put in the, uh, the, this particular field, uh, you know, uh, you know, which did do I put in there or, you know, uh, you know which, uh, I don't know, I, 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 we see those discussions, right? So I think, uh, you know, maybe hopefully more of those details we could add over time as well as real interrupt happens and as we hit real brick walls <laughs> yeah so okay um good any other thoughts in terms of aries agent test harness or aip3 i mean i do do we all agree we just want at this point for you know sam and friends to to say yeah this looks good let's start you know solidifying this and you know having tests added to aries agent test harness would be a good thing i mean i don't want to jump the gun too much on that but i also feel like starting to push on that will cause um i guess real discussion of of how much more we need to do but i think this is pretty good okay and so yep basically this tag honestly um it did uh, have we captured the best names for this? Uh, I feel like there was other names suggested. Uh, or, or do people care very much? I, I guess we, we basically want a tag that, that's saying, yeah, it's DIDCOM. But um, right now, for instance, if you were to tell the Aries agent test harness, uh, okay, run DIDCOM tests, it would run the wacky uh, tests, right? So if you don't want that, um, then we kind of need this alternate thing that's, you know, maybe something like didcom v2 simple, uh, or uh, maybe we just call it didcom v2 messaging or something like that, that, that basically is saying, you know, I don't care about credentials. Okay, didcom v2 base, Alex uh, is suggesting. Well, so base like mediation. Base, I don't like because in our AIP 3.0, our idea of base at that point is does include wacky. But of course, maybe maybe one thing that we do is change the tags that currently exist, because maybe what the one that has wacky in it, maybe what that should be tagged is AIP three. Although it is also a didcom v2 test, so I'm not sure the best way to organize that. Thinking out loud. <laughs> or maybe the idea is to just um, yeah, I, I I do like the idea of of basically saying, can you can you communicate via didcom v2 and possibly discover features or something like that? And then that's it, right? That's, uh... and do a trust ping, maybe some, the, the like simplest stuff. So yeah, base or simple or something like that. I guess we don't have to be, uh, we don't have to decide now, but if anybody had strong sense, sometimes names can be really important, so.
And if we go back really quickly to Thomas's list here, um, essentially the list that I'm showing is 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 like what he's done here, where he's uh, sorry, I'm scrolling a lot. I know. Um, yeah, AIP 1.0 status and AIP 2.0 status is essentially he's showing all the all the uh, tests. That, that exist with it and and by RFC, we'd want to be able to do the same for AIP 3.0, I think, uh, but eventually also including the complexity of, uh, sorry, the complexity of maybe these, uh, I don't know what to call them, subcategories or, or additional categories. So, yeah, hopefully that just gives you an idea of how kind of the test harness looks at these things uh, in terms of tags. And yeah, it's uh, it would be nice to be able to say, yeah, uh, yeah, I do did come messaging, but I don't support, you know, credential uh, flows and things like that. Okay. Uh, anything else from Grand Unified Theory? Uh, talk. I'm trying to think if I can remember any of the other meetings mentioning it. I do feel like it keeps coming up, but okay, Bruce had said did come v2 layer one as possibilities. I'm going to put both of these uh, in suggestions on here just so we don't forget. And that was kind of a nod to Daniel's grand unified theory in that it brings together something from diff and something from uh, trust over IP. Okay, yeah, I like that. <laughs> right, and, and we had kind of talked about um, maybe visualizing um, AIP3 in terms of the trust over IP layers as well. So maybe this goes well uh, with that, right? Layer one being, we know what did uh, method to use. Now layer two is messaging. I'm sorry, I meant layer two. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> yeah, as yeah. opposed to as opposed to layer three, which AIP3 and others uh, just include. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Right, breaking it down by the trust over IP layers. Yeah, that I, I like. Uh, I like thinking in terms of that as well. Good. Okay. Um, right. So we had talked last week that yeah, essentially the grand unified theory, uh, if we can keep calling it that. Um, and also, uh, well, uh, yeah, one thing that did happen is Daniel posted it on Median uh, a new post uh, talking about the difference between DIDCOM v2, uh, DWN, Chappie, and OIDC. So maybe putting that- well, that, would, that would be very interesting. I missed yeah. that one. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good post. I, I, I got that in here as well. Okay. Know. No, why not? Yeah, if somebody could post it there in the chat, I'll yeah. I'll put it on the Let page. Okay. Yeah. Uh and and so um at the same time, right, it's it's coming back now. Uh I think that the did carry spec might have been posted. I don't know if I've seen that, but um it does seem that there is a rush to get did carry out there um, and possibly because they want it to be a part of ARP3. So that would be an interesting <laughs> discussion. I, I, hold on. I, I did some proof of concept on did carry that I, I need to show first in the, the carry meeting with them and discuss if that's suitable for like being at a, what, what Daniel was expecting at the <laughs> unified theory. Right. Still, oh, I'm cool. not sure that we should include that in, in AIP3, but it's okay, there, there's gonna be something. 
Yeah, and and also uh, Alex noted that there's a warning now on the did peer spec. He he had seen that and sent that to us. Um, and so that's worth showing. Let's see, uh, did peer spec, did peer. Let's see if I can, yeah, oh. Mm. <laughs> This time when I went to it, maybe let me go to latest. Hmm. It's almost like, uh, I'm gonna, let's see. So this is Daniel's post. I'll put that up there. So really good post for somebody like me, especially who is not as familiar with the, the other, um, those other uh, yeah, o o OIDC and Chappie, and I'm kind of familiar with DWNs, but only at a very, very high level. And it would be nice to see some of the overlap uh, that exists for some of these things. Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm, I'm I'm very interested in the centralized web nodes, kind of how the messaging between them works. And does didcom, where does didcom sit with DWNs and things like that? But, uh, okay. So Alex, when I went to the peer did method specification, I saw for a second that red, red lettering. Uh, oh, and it did it just then too. I don't know if you guys could see that, but yeah, it's almost like it showed the red lettering stuff and then redirected quickly here i'm wondering if there how can i get back to if you scroll a little down it says the warning a little bit down oh yeah, there you go there. okay yeah very good yeah, they, i think they fixed the page because otherwise we'd show just the warning gotcha okay yes so essentially uh the the wheels are in motion here uh and it's it it, it the wheels are in motion of of deprecating uh did peer in a way and now mentioning did carry. Um, yeah. So interesting. Does this give us enough that we want to mention these as part of AIP 3.0? I guess for one thing, do we think did key should be mentioned no matter what? Or also, Alex has mentioned well, did web. I don't think you'd ever use did key because you need service endpoint for did can be too. So did key is not yeah. like support for did can be yeah. too. Yeah, did correct. Yeah, did key is cannot we cannot use did key, right? Uh, it it uh, is it not useful at any part? Uh, did it come be too? No. Okay. We can All make right. a hack, but it's not. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So. Yeah, then we have to decide if did carry is worth mentioning. Also, did web, Alex, you've mentioned multiple times. Is that something worth bringing up for AIP3 support? I mean, right now, just stick for did peer at first. You, uh, uh, I'm sorry, say again. You think did just mentioning did peer is sufficient? Did we lose Alex? I see green. Am I not hearing? <laughs> I don't hear Alex either. Okay. No, oh, Alex, he's, he's muted. Now he's on mute. <clears throat> well, maybe he's uh, maybe he's caught up. But uh, okay, so, so so something to consider at least. Uh, did I put this on on our? Uh, Alex said yeah. in the chat that he thinks sticking with these beers is the best for now. Okay. There is a warning <laughs> about did peer on the spec now. Okay. Yeah, so so there is certainly some movement still happening uh because of uh Daniel stuff and uh Daniel's uh, grand unified theory, and that's good. It's it's good to yeah, see that movement. Just to, the warning was posted by Daniel on, I think, on September. And what I remember, he's going to maybe 
not be so strong on the warning because he was really saying that the attention, the, the last phrase say I just won't get a lot of attention now. So I think he's, he says he's going to change that for some better wording, not so too danger, <laughs> too red. <laughs> but, uh, okay. I, I don't know what, what's happened last, last week with the, with the rendering because that appeared in red, I think. Okay. I hadn't realized this was, you know, even though it says it right there, I hadn't realized this was from September, I guess, because right. The last week was it, it, the, the way it rendered, uh, seemed like a new thing. So maybe I, maybe I'm overreacting to. Oh, that, that's one of the things that, that, that why we start this, I think this, these meetings, <laughs> you remember with uh, Brian talking about DDPR, how we can <laughs> do interoperability and we, make Daniels talk about that, explain why they are, he's saying these words and so forth. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think also like the did peer libraries, the Sigma had, they are now like the W3C compiled, like the, the, the document nomenclature and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. was like, uh, sure. uh, yeah, I think that was also like one issue that we had. Interesting. And those have improved now or not? As far as I know, no. It's like the SIGPI is not like supporting really the DIPCOM V2 or the DIP peer library. You just kind of like have to either fix your DIP peer library to match with the DIPCOM library. Uh, so yeah, I think that was kind of like the one of the main issues. Like if you look at the DIP peer that uh, the Brian has, he's trying to make it SIGPI compatible uh, in the code. Um, that was like one of the main problems, but like if you follow directly the specification to resolve the deep here, you want the, uh, like, yeah, the, the keys won't match. Interesting. Okay. All right. So some good updates there. Um, I don't, I don't know the best way to approach the, did carry stuff other than keep bringing it up and getting people's thoughts. Uh, certainly, I guess this, uh, let's see, go back to it. Well, let's see, when did we get updates? Uh, okay, so is there activity, new activity happening on this, Roto? Or you sent, you sent the no, did carry? I, no, I think that we need to talk about that with yeah. Phil and see how it's going to pro progress. I feel but like it's incoming. What Daniel, yeah, but Daniel was requesting something simpler for uh, for the first, this carry light. So yeah, uh, maybe not the full did carry method. So that, that's why Phil needs to, to, to see how it can have something that works uh, both ways, right? Yeah. Something complex for a full did carry or something simpler for like a carry light last Daniel match. I think that's that's a really good point. If if we're moving towards unifying, as Daniel suggests, then we have some work to do on our end, and the carry folks have have the work of of uh, giving us a smaller and easier to implement subset of did carry that Daniel right. called did, did carry light. Yeah. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, okay. That uh if if to keep it simple, yeah, we'll we'll just keep pushing did peer and yeah, we'll see where it goes in terms of did carry. Okay. Uh, let's see, we might have to create a new JS package for did carry light just to do basic signing and did generation. Okay, so Alex, you're saying that in terms of... Yeah, because I was looking at the carry JS package. Okay. And they have like a lot of like encoding built in there, like gener generating cryptography keys and all that kind of stuff. So maybe just like, simplifying a subset of the functions that they have. Um, 
I think like something like signify.ts can be used, like the signify client can be used. Right. Once inspected properly. So maybe we can leverage that. Okay. And is that uh, like a TypeScript, JavaScript uh, library? Yeah it's, or? A, yeah, it's a TypeScript implementation of like okay. client function for carry that can run locally. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, that's pretty good. Um, all right, anything else? We have about 13 minutes, but um, I don't think we've seen Thomas. Uh, so nothing about Apache Camel. I haven't done much with the spreadsheet. I've been more focused on the HackMD um, plus looking into Aries Agent Test Harness. And yeah. Okay. Just looking through our old notes, making sure we're not missing anything. I think, um, let's see, did we did list Daniel's notes. I think that's what this is, right? Those are the slides, yeah. Okay. And so that has kind of that um, narrow waist uh, view. Let me, uh, can I open this uh, this way? No, it's a widget. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Well, we can always update. Uh, oh, I probably could have edited it. Yeah, here we go. I just wanted to go to the diagram. Yeah, or here. Oh, that doesn't look great, does it? Uh, oh, those are mine. How do I? Um, I go full screen or something here. Autoplay, open speaker notes. Ah, here we go. Oh, except for I don't think that's showing to you. How does that look to you? <laughs> See, the Didcom Delta slide full screen. Okay, is it clear then? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I should be able to go backwards. No, oh, the controls are, oh, here we go. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Is that is that yeah, kind of clear? So I, I guess what I'm trying to do is say if we look at AIP three in terms of the trust spanning uh, diagram, which um, by the way, the first meeting I believe it was the first meeting was last week of the trust spanning task force, and so I attended that. Uh, and that was mostly intros and stuff like that. And then just uh, encouraging everybody to read up on um, the different layers, uh, the, the kind of classic layers for trust over IP, and then reading up on what they are defining as this trust spanning layer. So I think, um, you know, that, that stuff obviously because did come V2 is going to be kind of, you know, discussed a lot in this space. Um, it would be good, you know, to be aware of that thing, that stuff as well. So I, I'm going to go through and, and read up on that um, because I don't have it sharp in my mind exactly what these things uh, entail. Uh, in terms of Didcom V2, there was, um, I think, a better chart somewhere. But certainly, we understand uh, trust applications uh, as being built on top of uh, application protocols, which I think they call trust tasks. Uh, so in Didcom V2, we, we talk about uh, application protocols. But I think that falls here in layer three as trust tasks. And then some amount of didcom v2 is is this layer two trust spanning layer thoughts on that anything uh, to say i mean i do think at some point we need to be able to talk to this very strongly 
as well. I mean, to me, it seems obvious that carry is going to be the, the underlying layer uh, for everything since it kind of was like purposely built for that. It's like a matter of like wait for people to understand what it can do as well as the scissor encoding. So that's kind of like my thoughts on it. I'm not sure exactly how this combi two will fit in in there. Uh, maybe it can be like the uh, TLF type of thing, like you can do a handshake. Uh, but since everything is end verifiable in carry, I'm not sure like you need like a messaging, like an enveloping protocol, since you can verify what's ever it's in the, in the envelope. So you don't need the envelope to be necessarily secure because you don't trust the envelope. You trust the data that's within the envelope because you can verify it since carry is end verifiable. So like, I'm not sure like I personally have like an understanding of how like carry and like the other div methods are going to interact. Because like I see carry as competing with like div methods entirely, not with like div come like in my mind. Because uh, like you write like a, another way to reference identifiers. Uh, and like I think carry is what BIDs or like AIDs are what the IDs were meant to be originally. Like a key value, like an identifier which you can rotate keys when the identifier says constant. Uh, like in an actual cryptographic way. So uh, I'm not sure like I have my thoughts ever really formulated on this whole thing. I probably need to attend more meetings and see how people feel about things. Uh, but yeah. Guys, any thoughts? Yeah, I actually, uh, well, I, I don't know. You're challenging my assumptions here. I mean, I, I agree that AIDs and, and DIDs are uh, somewhat competing and certainly, you know, a DID carry uh, is essentially just leveraging the AID concept and kind of marrying the, the two concepts of a AID and a, and a DID. Um, I had in thought about enveloping in terms of I, I, I had thought of Didcom V2 and carry as uh, complementary, but it sounds like you feel like it's um they're they're like I don't know, I, redu redundant. Yeah, or... I would say it's redundant. Like like using Didcom V2 and DWMs, right? Like you could if you wanted to, but like they kind of accomplish similar things in terms of like messaging. Like, Messages are encrypted, right? Like you can do with the IDs. So like the key core functionality is, is the same, just like the implementation is like done differently. Um, but like the underlying properties that you get out of that protocol would be the same, like at least to me. Uh, Interesting. Okay, so so maybe uh, this is something that would be good for us to kind of unpack in these meetings uh, over time. Um, because I do think that we should be able to talk to this. I think that'll be important. Um, to yeah. if 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 AIP three point oh is didcom v two focused, but possibly introducing you know carry uh, things, then I cert I think we should have a strong message in terms of uh, where the overlap is and and. Yeah, is is there is there is there too much redundancy or or, or, or things like this? Yeah, but and, but I think uh, Lance, this is a different timing. So IP three is now. Uh, this uh, trust spanning layer is future. Yeah, just start the meeting last week, and that's gonna last um, half an year, one year. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's gonna be. So, we're gonna be, gonna be in AIP nine, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think it's gonna be a while before people come to a consensus of like this trust thing later. Yeah, I I guess I uh so it's really good to to yes keep that in mind and and certainly I do would not want AIP three to get bogged down uh yeah by this kind of new larger discussion. I guess I mean, you know, for me personally, uh, uh, I would like to be able to talk to these layers uh, in terms of AIP3. And so, so that I can express and understand um, 
you know, what, well, you know, what does it mean to empower up here? And, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, what overlap is there between carry, which, which we know fairly well, and then didcom v2, which we also know fairly well, but, uh, then, uh, you know, I think what Alex just mentioned, um, it just uh, challenges some of my understanding and assumptions. So I think it'd be worth, uh, you know, just having some discussions, uh, on it over time to kind of unpack, uh, what, what that means not to over overuse the word unpack, but yeah, to, <laughs> to, 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 yeah, for, for all of us to kind of grow, I guess I should say in terms of, um, of understanding of, of what's meant by these things. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm kind of giving myself homework, I guess. Um, so yeah, good. All right. So how do I, there we go. Good. All right, two minutes left. Any any last words? What what would we like to come back with next week? Uh, hopefully, I can give um, much more updates on uh, the Aries agent test harness, um, specifically kind of these these uh, tests that already exist. Kind of give a review of of what I found there uh, in terms of um, what's in the test versus. Uh, and and how they even work, right? In terms of uh, you know what did methods are being used and so on and so forth. Um, so I think that'll be good just to continue to to dive into that. Hopefully we get to talk about AIP three at uh, the Aries working uh, working group on Wednesday. Um, I think it's worth you know thinking about these names and and. Uh, I'll kind of, this will be the first time that I'm really thinking about how the different tags uh, in the Aries agent test harness are layered on top of each other. Um, and if a hierarchy does exist um, at all, so that uh, whatever name we come up with here is very meaningful. I, I like thinking of it in terms of possibly layers uh, related to trust over IP. Anything else? Thank you very much, Lance, for the meeting today. Yeah, yeah. I and everyone. I mean, I'm enjoying this thoroughly. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you all. <laughs> Hopefully, everybody else is. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a really good conversation today. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yes. Good. Yeah, and I, I appreciate okay. what you brought up, Alex, in terms of uh, Carrie and Didcom. That's going to make me think. So. Yeah, because I was uh, I was trying to do research for like the the Kerry video, uh, like with the ideas and stuff like that. So I really listened to all of the Sam's presentation over the weekend. And like I tried to like remake myself with a mental model and all that, mm -hmm. so that's why like I I I had that problem. Yeah. Good. Okay. Great. Have a okay. nice week. See you all. Goodbye. See you. Bye.